Casey Stutzman, and I'm sitting on one of Bay Athletic Club's brand new Concept 2 rowers. I'd like to show you a little bit about how to use and how to set up the rower, as well as tell you a little bit why it's a great tool for your workout. It can be an awesome challenge. It can mimic very high intensity activities, such as sprinting, but minus the impact. Or it can be something that you can use at a more gradual, moderate pace and get a nice long workout in. It's awesome for interval training or just to throw some new variety into your routine. First, we want to get the feet set up. So adjust these accordingly, depending on the size of your shoe. You can see that there's numbers coinciding on both sides. Slip your foot in so your heel hits on the cup. And then just tighten the strap just enough so your foot doesn't fall out. The resistance of the rower is actually determined by how hard you pull on the handle because it uses wind and a flywheel for its resistance. However, this dial here can set basically the size of the boat that you're moving on. 10 is going to act like a larger, maybe more sluggish boat in the water, where down to 1 is going to act like a lighter, more sleeker boat. To turn on the screen, you can simply just begin rowing or hit the menu button, and you can choose from just row, select workout, games, and a variety of different other fun activities. To begin just rowing, you can start easily and hit the change display button to change the information that you see up on the screen, depending on what you're looking at for your workout. All right, my feet are set, I got my dial set, my screen's up and running, so now I'm ready to start rowing. Once I'm in, I'm gonna grab the handle with both hands, making sure that it's in that cradle, not just the one hand, and be careful not to twist it. Sit up nice and tall, and remember, rowing is a very lower body and core driven activity, so I'm gonna start my stroke driving hard through the legs, keeping a nice straight spine, and at the end, start to hinge at the hips just slightly. At this point is when I'll engage the arms and finish the pull towards the belly button. I don't want to be too far down to my lap or up to the chest. As I start to recover, I'll let my arms go out first as I pull myself towards the foot and keep nice tall in the spine. So as I drive out and pull and recover. Drive, finish, pull and recover. When I finish my workout, lean forward and make sure the handle gets set comfortably in the cradle and not just letting go to hit towards the front of the machine. Loosen up your straps, slide your feet out, and there you go. We hope you enjoy the new Concept 2 rowers at Bay Athletic Club.